Guys, it's very important to make sure you have water out for your bees. I've got a couple of different watering stations. Bees take the water back to the hive, disperse it along the comb and fan, which cools the hive. They also use it to help cure the honey. They always want to go to the nastiest water source, it seems like you can always find. I've kept out clean water, won't touch it. This is rainwater that I collect in 300 gallon totes to water my garden with during what we're in right now, drought. I just figured I'd give you a little video on make sure you keep water out for your bees. Keep some sticks in there or something to keep them from drowning in it. But the point I'd like to make is if you watched one of my previous videos, it's about open feeding. And you've got people that believe in open feeding and you've got people that are just dead set against open feeding. They'll scream at you and say it promotes disease amongst the bees. Well, I hate to tell you, but let's look right down there. Those bees are touching each other. Varroa can jump from one bee to the other while you're, they're at your watering hole. Does that matter? I guarantee you that most of those that scream foul because you've got open feeding out, but yet they do, I guarantee you they have water out for their bees. And if they don't, they should. Just a little observation, a little tip that you guys need to know. Especially the new beekeepers. The old beekeepers are, should already know this. Many different ways to put water out. You guys have a great day. Hit that like and subscribe.